Hello, Warriors. Mr. Vasquez here. Today's school-wide lesson is on test preparation. Today, you will learn some strategies to help you be successful when preparing to take a test. You may be taking one or a few of the tests listed on this slide in the near future. You'll receive more information on these, but we'll go over a few things today. Preparing for a test involves a combination of effective study strategies, time management, and self-care. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you prepare for your upcoming test. Step 1. Know the test purpose. Ask your teachers and counselors the following. Which students take the exam? How does the test benefit you or YB? Why should you do your best? Some tests can help you qualify for free money and scholarships, and others help YB stand out and help future students. Step 2. Know the test's format. Be prepared for the different ways of presenting your answers. This can help alleviate some stress or test-taking anxiety if you know exactly what type of questions will be asked of you. There can be multiple choice where you have to decide if the answer is A, B, C, D, or true or false. There's short answer and written response where you'll get a question and have to write a few sentences or maybe a paragraph. Or there can be an essay where you have to organize your ideas into a multi-paragraph response. Some tests may include a mix of the above formats as well. Step three, know the test content. This basically means asking your teachers, what is the test about? So ask your teachers and counselors the following. What are the key subject areas? Is the test English-based, math, science, history, but also what grade levels are considered? It will be helpful to know how difficult the test may be based on the grade level of the subject or course you are taking. Another good thing to do is to study aspects of the test by doing the following. Know what you know or do well in the subject. Know your common errors on past assignments or tasks. You can ask your teacher. And also ask your teacher or counselor for sample test questions. Be sure to review past graded tests, past written assignments, and also review your past teacher comments. Make a list of topics you need to review. Let's take a look at a few math and science-based principles. Some questions or problems will be based on a given concept or clues to help you solve a problem. So check with your teacher for the subject to review important concepts and be ready to recall things like principles, theorems, formulas, terms, or structures. So practice solving and answering sample test questions as shown here. You can use actual tests that you've taken in your classes, or you can also ask your teacher, counselor, and even check online for some sample test questions. There will also be some links at the end of this presentation for you. We can't rely simply on looking at practice tests though. Remember that there are key concepts you need to know in order to pass the exam. So ask your teacher for the following, the important concepts and underlying principles. That will help you know if the sample test questions you're looking at will be effective to study. So remember to look at sample problems, but also sample written questions where you may have to read a little bit, but you'll have to use your background knowledge to figure out the answer. So let's cross over now to talk about writing-based exams. Reading tasks may ask you to identify the following, main ideas or themes, the order of events, relevant topics to add, and irrelevant topics to remove. So you may be asked to read something, but your response will be as if you're the editor. You have to select the appropriate change or addition to make to something you just read. Writing tasks in English or social science exams may require you to understand the prompt and be on topic. So brainstorm a few ideas to be on task if you are asked to write something as a response. One thing you can do is a cluster chart like the image shown on the top right. Practice writing down some key ideas to help organize your writing before you start to write. Here's an image of a reading test sample. You may be asked to read something that's up to a few paragraphs long, but that reading passage will have several questions assigned to it. Proper grammar, organization, and structure are important to understand. You may be asked to write or select the correct way to edit a passage, so brush up on the following. Vocabulary. It's good to review some common roots such as Latin roots, prefixes, and suffixes in case you come across a word you haven't heard before. Grammar and also paragraph structure. Some resources provide visuals for these types of word forms or word structures. So if you find something like this, use it. It's good to look at something, especially if you know if you're a visual learner. 
Hey, are you still with me? Good. Okay, so just a few more things on writing. For writing or grammar-based assessments, list your areas for growth. If you know you are struggling with something, be aware of it. If you're not sure what type of errors you're making, look up common errors in the subject area. Take a look at the image on the left. That's a comment left by a former teacher on a student's actual assignment on Google Docs. Note the teacher's comment in this Google Doc assignment. Look at the underlined words. The teacher says things like subordinate, independent clause, comma. If you're not sure what the rules are for these things, look them up. There's going to be a resource for you in the next few slides. You can ask your teacher for grammar-related study guides, writing manuals, or you can look online. A good resource is the Purdue OWL Writing Lab, which allows you to search specific error types and then read up on rules and examples. So check out the link below. This is actually a useful link that helped this former teacher get through college. So once you visit that particular link, the Purdue OWL search box allows you to search specific topics on grammar or writing, and then you can select to see lessons and examples. So if there's any words that your teachers have written as comments or suggestions on your past essays or written assignments, write down the words here if you don't understand them. Notice how if you type in the word comma, you'll be able to select a mini lesson on this type of punctuation, and you will also get examples. And don't forget to look up visual representations of these rules, especially if you come across something that can be a little confusing, such as the past, present, or future forms of words. Okay, so that might have been a ton of information, which brings us to step four, create a study schedule. Study a few concepts in the days, weeks leading up to the test. Break down sessions into manageable chunks. Form study groups and take turns presenting concepts to each other. But remember, you don't have to do it alone. Meet up with friends or classmates who are also taking the upcoming test. Organize yourself by coming up with a schedule. Write it down, put it on a planner. And remember, even if you're not able to meet with somebody in person, there's also Zoom. Step five, gather study materials. Collect relevant notes and textbooks. Use class materials and suggested resources. Make your own flashcards or cheat sheets for your own study sessions and carry them around with you. Don't forget to stick to your schedule and maybe update it or modify it if you need to. Step six, preparing the night before. Okay, you've made it this far, we're almost done. Review what you know already. Review what may be the most complicated topics and review those a little bit more frequently leading up to the test. Do something relaxing or stress-free the night before. Get a good relaxing night's rest, hopefully eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. Set your alarm or alarms for the following morning and maybe even prepare part of your breakfast for the next morning so you're not rushed. And now we've made it to the day of the test. Eat a healthy breakfast. Hopefully it'll be protein-based or filled with healthy carbs to release energy throughout the day. Arrive to the test area or classroom early. Bring study materials for last minute review and bring relevant and permitted testing materials such as a pen, paper, pencil, calculator, or whatever you're allowed to use. So the best of luck, warriors, and I leave you here with a few test prep resources. Check out some of the additional links below in the description of this video and also the PDF version on the YB website.